So we've all heard the statement that, um, video games rot your brain. Basically rot pretty much every necessary aspect of you, but there's one reason why I actually disagree. And it's actually a personal experience. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another story type video. I'm doing a lot of about me's recently, but just because there's been a lot that's gone on my in my life that I feel like I think I should keep record of. This is another one of them. So what I recently just claimed at the beginning of this video, I am talking. Yes, games have pushed me to get to be a bit more smarter than a lot of people give them credit for, and I'm not talking about like games designed to do that. I mean like an RPG. I mean Persona. Specifically Personas 3 and 5. Now, there are going to be people out there just going, it's just a game. You don't do... Well, maybe it's a game. But the thing is, here's where the story really kind of kicks in. A few years ago, I completely lost interest in doing any more schooling at all on my end. I hadn't gone to college for like two, three years, and they were just individual classes. I never really have gotten a degree, but I have learned things, and I've actually found out that it's not very beneficial because of my mental circumstances, which I'm not going to go into. It won't do me very much except teach me new things. But this was explained to me after the events of what I'm about to talk about. I hit a point, a low point in my life, where I was like, I needed something to grasp on to, something relatable. And to me, that has always been video games, to a very specific degree. I heard about this game series called Persona, and was told that it is, it was a very, very good game, and I've always liked RPGs, specifically the Final Fantasy franchise. I was told if I liked that series, I would love Persona. At the moment I was told this, Persona 3 was on store shelves. Um, or should I say, the shelves of a pawn shop. And I got it. I got Persona 3. I tried it and I ended up loving it. Played it all the way through, as it did, as even with the difficulty spikes that it sometimes did have. Luckily, it was an RPG that you can actually grind and level up, and so that was not hard to overcome. This one didn't really do much but emphasize on my enjoyment for RPGs and their storytelling, especially with how well Atlas does it. And then came Persona 5, where I really started to recognize the other half of the coin of the game series of Persona. I'm not sure if this was Shin Megami Tensei as well, because for, for those who don't know, the Persona series is a spin-off of that series. Um, but Persona 5 came out, and I started playing through it. And in some kind of weird way... While going through the IRL bits of it, where you're like going to school and learning, that little aspect got me wanting to do it IRL. Because of the obscure questions that didn't really have much to do with the culture that I'm part of, but the fact that I was learning more about a culture that I didn't know very much about, or a language that I didn't know very much about, I found it interesting how how much I was actually thoroughly enjoying learning this kind of stuff. Put me back in a mindset where, hey, I actually do want to learn more. And once again, this is coming from an RPG. I started looking at games a bit differently and considered how many times you go through a game and you actually have to think about certain aspects. For example, the video game Braid. You have to think on how to approach time in that game. Like, you have to hardcore think about it. It's a good game that really gets you thinking. A lot. It's not one that got me into that, though. 
I didn't find Braid until after these events. Either way, though, yeah, that's pretty much the story on why why I feel like games are a bit more useful than a lot of people give them credit for, but more like this is the, more the story of how I ended up doing more schooling without realizing that was going to happen. If you guys enjoyed this uh, little um, tangent story thing that I provided, uh, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. If you really like this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel, because I do one of these type of live videos. Most of them are becoming more about me than just discussion rant stuff, because I'm running out of ideas for those. Um, consider subscribing to the channel, because I do one of these alongside a gaming video every single day. However, for right now, I'm going to head off, um, but I hope to see you guys in another video. Bye for now.